Let's update Fabric to 119.4. All right, we found ourselves back in jelly once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be updating our Fabric project here from 119.3 to 119.4. So for this, what we'll do is we will go to the gradle.properties file. And as you can see, you can simply navigate to fabricmc.net slash develop, which I have already opened right here. And right here are all of the different values that you need to take. So I'm just going to copy over all of them. I'm just going to select them, control C, control V to paste them in, and then we can just change them. I can also just delete the rest. It's totally fine. Basically, you just want to change all of those numbers to the correct ones. Now, for you, they might actually be more advanced, right? So you might already be at like 0 0.76, 0 0.1 or something like that. That's totally fine. Usually, you should be able to update those. If there are any discrepancies, then you will find a pinned comment or something in the description. And then we can just hit the Gradle reload over here. If that does not appear, you can open the Gradle tab and just hit the reload button right there. And then it's going to build. And this takes you know anywhere from a few seconds to a minute or so to download everything and rebuild everything and well let's just be patient let this run through and then we'll see well there we go build successful in 33 seconds and well that that's pretty much it right don't forget to open the terminal over here and also run dot slash gradle w gen sources so that it downloads the sources that can be a you know, a quite interesting thing to keep in mind. And then we're going to also add the sources. So once again, just let this run through. And then after this is done, we will assign these sources then. Or oh, there we go. Build successful in one minute, 11 seconds. And just to go in here, what you can do now is let's just go into our item, into our mod items over here. Let's just middle mouse, but click on the item. And then you should get the blue bar at the top. We're going to choose sources. I'm going to choose the merged name sources jar over here. Set OK. And then once that is reloaded, we now should have all of the sources probably set up. And well, we're ready to do everything that we want to do in 119.4. When it comes to code changes, you can see in the mod place features, the modifiers with would survive method does not exist. However, just the name change, it is now called tree modifiers with would survive. So you just change that, save that up there, and then you should be good to go. You can then start Minecraft. It should boot up, no worries at all. And then you can just proceed to continue to work in Minecraft 119.4. Here we go. Minecraft has started, so everything is working totally fine. And then also a note on the 119.3, 119.4 series. I'm unsure how long this will continue along for, as there aren't that many topics that have changed significantly between the 119, 119 119.3, 119 119.4 versions. So it might be the case that you know, there's only going to be stuff sporadically from time to time here and there as new topics come up. So just be aware of that. But regardless of that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. So yeah.